In previous video, we modeled a concave keycap which is cylindrically sculpted. The spacebar in your keyboard, however, is convex, not concave. This time, let's make a convex spacebar. Modeling a spacebar is almost the same as the previous one, but it needs some additional steps in the middle of the entire process. But it's very easy to do. Let's get started. Open the inventor and create a new part file in millimeters. Add a sketch on the XY plane and draw a rectangle with this option. Click on the 0.0, .0 and specify the size 19.05. Multiply 6.25 Tap 19.05 Press home In this tutorial, the size of spacebar is 6.25 unit sized Same as before Make them construction lines And then make another rectangle with the same center point like this press D key to specify margins 0 0.525 here and here 0 0.525 and then add a circle here 5.5 here 5.5 and here 5.5 and press D specify dimension here 50 and specify dimension here again 50 and by using this constraint this point and this point should be in the horizontal line and this point and this point should be in the same horizontal line next make a cross 1.2 tap 4 again 4 tap 1.2 Okay, finish sketch. The next step is draw the profile. Add a sketch on your YZ plane. Slightly twist it. And you need to make this line and this line as a reference line so that you can have snap points here and here in your current sketch plane. So let's add some lines like this and specify some dimensions. This and this is 85 degrees as usual and the length of this line is 14 millimeters and the height of this vertex and this vertex should be 6.4 8.2 sorry 8.1 Uh, these two dimensions comes from the reference image that I got from internet. You can see that in my previous video. And additional line in the middle of this line. And make them perpendicular to each other. 
like this and make it as construction line and finish sketch next step is to make walk plane perpendicular to this line through this point like this and for our convenience flip normal right and then add another sketch on the work plane one click project geometry and make this line and this line as references so I brought those lines into my current sketch plane as a reference lines and then make a rectangular which has a center point here oh I missed the so click the project geometry button and make this line or this line as references and, if, and, and now rec I can draw a rectangle uh, which has the center point exactly here and like this coincident constraint make this line goes through this point like this and then specify a dimension between this reference line and this line as 3.825 like just before Okay, then finish sketch. It's time to use loft. With this sketch and this profile, click to add the destination, this profile. Like this. Click OK. But it's not convex. So we use thicken here. Thicken this five millimeters okay make a the make another sketch on your YZ plane press F7 and project geometry this line and make an arc from here to there like this specify the radius of the arc I make it 20 and then add some lines to make a closed loop here and finish sketch play uh, click extrude with this profile in this case cut extend all in both direction click OK then then we have a convex keycap hide the sketch 2 and work plane because we don't need them anymore and just like the previous video add some fillers on the four edges like this 0 0.3 1.5 <laughs> Okay, 
and fill it once again on this loop the radius is 0 0.3 See, looks great. And then by using shell command, specify a remover surfaces here. And the thickness of the shell should be 1.5 millimeters. And click OK. The last step is unhide this sketch one and click extrude, select profile, this, this, and this. Extend to next. Okay. And hide sketch one again. You can add some reinforcement like here, like ribs here and there. It's up to you. That's it. I hope this video helps you guys. And thanks for watching. See you next time.